Hello, my name is Dr. Adina Moylet and I'm a senior lecturer here at the School of Medicine and I work also within the academic department of paediatrics based in University Hospital Galway. So over the course of the next 15 minutes or so, I'm hoping to tell you a little bit about our medical program here at the School of Medicine. I'm also going to touch a little bit on what is required to get in um, and then towards the end, just a couple of slides on what it is like really uh, being a doctor. So it gives me great pleasure to start off with this slide here, which depicts the attributes that we would hope our students will have upon graduation. You can read the attributes there yourself, but what runs through them, in addition to all of those outstanding qualities, is a strong sense of professionalism, which we hope to instill in our students early in their undergraduate course, and certainly that they are fully professional by the time they graduate. These graduate attributes were put together by a number of my colleagues, and they are largely based as well on the pillars of professionalism and practice as laid out by the Irish Medical Council. So what is our philosophy here at the School of Medicine? Well, in a word, it, is, it has a student focus. So a very strong student focus. Uh, students are involved along the way through putting our curriculum together, updates in our curriculum. We also have a strong sense of student input at committee meetings, student feedback. Um, so really we do keep our medical student at the center of our teaching. We also hope that we have an experienced group of academics teaching the students. We have the benefit of some wonderful clinician educators in the hospitals, as well as a strong research ethic and focus. I'll touch a little bit on the academy structure, which facilitates a wonderful patient-student ratio, as well as tutor-student ratio. And I'd like to just really touch upon this uh, image here, which is hoped to reflect mentorship, because I think that is extremely important, and we have a strong sense of mentorship within the School of Medicine. So during first med, all of our students are assigned a mentor. And what is hoped is that, is that mentor will help the students to develop over their time here with us. Initially, it has an academic focus. And then as you move through the program, your mentor will have more of a clinical or a career focus. So this picture here just depicts what our curriculum is like. And we have a spiral, integrated, modern, dynamic, live curriculum. Essentially, your education is divided into three phases. Phase one will be foundation med, if you're doing the six-year program, and year one. Phase two is largely first med and second med. And then phase three will be fourth and final med. So going through it here on our phases, so you have here foundation first, second, third, fourth and final. Um, and here is very much an introduction at the start. And then through years one, two and three, you learn how things work and what happens when things don't work. And then years four and five, you get to put it into clinical practice. So. In some images here, you can see again phase one, which is foundation and first med. So foundation med, students get to continue on in the subjects with which they are familiar. And any student who has not done chemistry will typically come into foundation med. So you will do biology, you do chemistry, you do physics. Uh, you also have an introduction to medicine. And our students at this stage will also get an introduction to early patient contact. In first med, then, students become immersed in the basic sciences, and these are medical sciences. So you're now doing anatomy, you're doing um, biochemistry, physiology, and our students 
work in a modern anatomy lab and have the honor of working on cadavers that were kindly donated. In the next phase then, which is second med and third med, this is very much a systems-based curriculum. So they get to learn about your different bodily systems and functions. So the respiratory system, the gastrointestinal system, neurology, cardiology. And throughout, this is interlinked with radiology, with pathology, again, learning how things function normally, what happens and how do you address it when they don't. And then you bring this knowledge into the clinical phase. And this is where you get now to practice and working with live patients. Um, and very much now you are immersed in the clinical environment and you get to practice the clinical sciences uh, as listed here. And this is again, one of our strong selling points is our strong clinical focus. So I'd mentioned the academy structure earlier on and the academies are structures that are affiliated on the site of these uh, university hospitals in Donegal, Sligo and Mayo. Uh, they are uh, structures that house only NUI Galway students where they get to work and study for one year out of programme. The students will leave typically either at the second half of third med onto the first half of fourth or the second half of fourth med into the first half of fifth. And the academies have, have, have multiple attributes. One is that they allow students to have an excellent patient-student ratio and then a wonderful tutor-student ratio. Each of our academies has staff on site, tutors on, on site, and here we have uh, Professor McCarthy, who's the Dean at the Sligo Academy. So each of the academies would also have a Dean who oversees uh, the students' lives there. So our clinical learning, which we have a strong focus on during our undergraduate curriculum here, and as I said, this is largely uh, years four and five. This is facilitated by the fact that uh, NUI Galway is affiliated with the Sailta Healthcare Group. And the hospitals you see listed here form part of the Northwestern Hospital Group. In addition to the hospitals listed on the left, we also, our students get to spend time on the private hospitals uh, within Galway City, again, optimizing that strong clinical focus. And as I said earlier, each of these hospitals will have tutors on site, uh, again, to guide uh, the students through their learning process. Another a really unique selling point, I believe, of the School of Medicine here at NUI Galway is where it is located. So we have the NUI Galway campus here, and this is the hospital campus, which is ever expanding. And the proximity of the university to where students will be spending a large portion of their time really does make for a better uh, college life and learning experience. So a lot of the preclinical years, the early phases are spent here and then the latter phase spent here. What you can also see here is the proximity of the uh, entire city to the not alone the university, but also the hospital, which again makes for a much better work life balance. So our curriculum, uh, which is modern, which is validated, um, um, which students do have input to, uh, is not all inclusive. So our students do have the option of doing some special study modules. And these are standalone modules that students can pick almost, you know, fr from um, a, a litany of, of uh, special study modules. One example would be pre-hospital emergency care, again, where students get to spend time in this environment and learn from their peers. Another one which is very popular is the surgical skills module. And again, anybody who has a keen interest in a future career in surgery may opt to spend some time in this special study module. Galway is a city that is very proud of its arts, heritage and culture. And again, this is reflected in this module where you use the arts in the setting of uh, medicine and healthcare. I believe Galway is one of the 
few uh, universities where we have a medical school orchestra uh, made up of medical students and again supporting that holistic uh, all-rounded education. We are very proud of our students uh, and the NUI awards is a national award system which students compete for annually. Here you are competing with your peers in the NUI affiliated universities throughout the country such as UCD or UCC surgeons and each year our students perform very well and we are proud of them and here you can see one of the award ceremonies. So students get to compete in say anatomy, in chemistry, in general medicine, in paediatrics and this is something that you have uh, if, if you are uh, awarded uh, a prize that you can have uh, going forward and have on your CV and again each year our students do very well. This is a testament again to the teaching uh, experience that they have here but also the hard work that they put into it. So um, with regards to um, admission to the school here at NUI Galway. Well, each year there are certain different requirements as mandated by a CAO application, etc. But simply put, it is just an undergraduate program here. We do not have any postgraduate medicine. Um, as I said, it's either a five year or a six year program. And again, that depends on if you do not have chemistry in your leaving cert, you will typically go into a six year course. If you do have chemistry and one or two of the other sciences, typically you will go into the five-year program. Uh, we have approximately 200 students per year in first med, second, third, and final, and then roughly uh, 70 or 80 students are admitted into that foundation year. And the breakdown there uh, by origin is as listed, and that is an approximate. Um, school entry, as I say, uh, points are, are different each year depending on the CAO system. But again, as I said, just which year, which stream you go into really does depend on which sciences you have. And they are listed in order there. Obviously, if you have all three sciences in your leaving cert, you will automatically go into a five year program. If you have no chemistry, you go into the six year program. Um, we also take a number of students through the mature entry place, a pathway, and this is uh, competitively applied for, and these would be individuals with a primary degree, typically but not always health affiliated. Uh, we also take students in through the here and the dare uh, process, approximately three or four through each. So. In the last few minutes, I would just like to tell you a little bit about what it's like working in, uh, in, in uh, medicine, uh, not a day to day, but just a little snapshot or a taste of what it is like. I think for most of you who are looking at this video, you probably do have some interest in working in medicine. And really what I would say to you is that you do have to be prepared to work hard you have to be prepared, you know, for the unexpected. It is not a predictable life. Your job is generally not that predictable, which really does make it, in my opinion, more interesting and dynamic anyhow. But it is hard work. The entry is difficult. Uh, and once you get in, uh, obviously, then you have five or six years of study and the majority of students will complete that and graduate. In fact, we have a very low attrition rate. Um, and then once you graduate, you are then ready to hit the ground and you are ready for all the work that will uh, be ahead. But again, there are stresses. You do need to be able to cope with stress and you need to maintain a good work-life balance. It isn't as much as a job uh, because it really is so dynamic uh, and no two days are alike. So that really does make it very enjoyable and interesting. But some days it can be very, very hard and stressful. Um, as I said, no two days are alike. And I think that really is something that, that, that keeps you in it long term. Um, the other aspect of medicine is that you are entrusted with patients' health. 
And this is a very privileged position in which to be. At the center of any consultation is communication. And I think if you think back yourself to any encounter you've had with the medical profession, what you are hoping is that somebody will be able to talk to you, that somebody will listen to you, that somebody will act in a professional, in a safe, in an evidence-based way, and obviously by the end of it, that they will have looked after you appropriately and cured you. So that, that really is the essence of what we are hoping to impart and the essence of what being a good doctor is all about. If you again, once you, you graduate from medicine and you've completed your five years as an undergraduate or six years as an undergraduate, after that, then you go into an intern year for one year and that's required by the Medical Council in order to be registered with them. And then following that, you pursue a career pathway. Now, I have not listed every career pathway here, and it, but again, depending on which pathway you choose, for instance, pediatrics is what I do. Uh, there is a seven year training program after completion of your internship. For something like neurosurgery, you may have to spend 10 or maybe 12 years training. For something like primary care or general practice, it's four years of training. So really, once you finish med school, the world really is your oyster after that, and you choose and plot your path. Moving back a little bit to our campus, and I hope that many of you watching this video will have the opportunity to walk around this beautiful campus at some point. But we are very proud because we have many wonderful buildings and facilities for our students. The Human Biology Building is one of those where students spend that first and uh, second phase of their learning. We are hoping to have a, a modern uh, simulation building here on site at the Clinical Sciences Institute, again, to complement uh, students' clinical learning in a simulated environment. And then finally, we are very proud that we introduce our undergraduate students to research at an early stage in their career. Many of our students take on summer scholarships in second med, or third med. Many of them will compete for those with grant applications and research applications. And many of them are very successful with presentations and very often going on to a publication. So in summing up, why would I choose NUI Galway if I was going to study medicine? Well, I hope I've stressed upon you our strong focus on our students, listening to the students and learning from them. Um, we have a very strong clinical focus and uh, I, we, are, we are all very proud of our graduates and that they are prepared for the workplace. There is a, an overall, you know, holistic uh, approach developing you know, many other attributes within our students. They get, they, 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 they become, you know, uh, role models. They, you know, become uh, career well, well developed in their careers at an early stage. The other thing is the proximity of the university to the hospital, as well as to the town or the city of Galway. So again, that all lends itself to a better learning environment. And then our academy structure uh, provides that really strong clinical focus and clinical environment. So thank you for your attention. And if you require any additional information, it is available from the uh, School of Medicine website uh, at NUI Galway. Thank you.